Come on, come on, come on. How long does it take to change the combination on a safe? I'm almost through. Why do you have to wave that gun around, Mr. Glick? Can't you put it back in your holster? Because, Mr. Brown, I'm the house detective here, and I can't afford to take any chances. Last time that safe was open, I had my gun in my holster, and a terrible thing happened. Somebody robbed the safe? Oh, no, somebody stole my holster. <laughs> this way, at least I've got a chance to save the gun. <laughs> ah, they're after it again. Who's there? Jose. Jose who? Jose Manley. What do you want, Jose? I gotta bring in a seating list for Mr. Phyllis at the banquet tonight. I'm sorry, Jose. No unauthorized persons are allowed in here while that safe is open. Oh. Unless, of course, you have the password. No, I don't know the password. Ah. Oh. Try swordfish. <laughs> The password is swordfish. Wrong! <laughs> you don't think I'd really give out the password, do you, Jose? Oh, come on, Mr. Glee. You can let me in. You know me. Well, What's all the secrecy about anyway? Well, Mr. Phillips thought it would be a good idea to change the combination of the safe. You see, there have been a rash of hotel robberies around lately. Personally, I think it's a waste of time. Mr. Phillips and I are the only two people who know the combination of that safe. Now, I don't know about him. But they haven't yet invented the torture that could drag those numbers from my lips. You're right, Mr. Glee. I remember when I was in Burma during the war. I was captured by the enemy and gave only my name, rank, and serial number in spite of being subjected to the most fiendish torture ever devised by man. The water torture. A drop of water on the forehead every minute for 300 gallons. 300 gallons, Mr. Brown, would you believe it? That's pretty hard to believe. Would you believe a quart? <laughs> What if they came by once a day with a glass of water and an eyedropper? Well, I'm finished here. Now, if you just uh, sign this receipt, Mr. Glick. All right. Hold this for me, will you, Jose? Okay, Mr. Brown. There you are. Thank you very much. Oh, say, are you out of your mind? Well, you'll never get away with this. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to Give me that gun. I mean to point it at you. You'll thank me for this someday, Jose. Here's the new combination for the safe. Okay, Mr. Brown. I'll take over from here. You're relieved. You're telling me. <laughs> All right, Jose. Now, quiet while I commit this combination to memory. Let's see, 27, 36, 45. Okay, Jose, I've got it. These numbers of this combination are now firmly embedded in my brain. Those numbers are already in bed with your brain. <laughs> yes, you see. You see, Jose, I have a foolproof method for memorizing things that I learned from my father. Oh, your father? Oh, yes. You probably heard of him. He was one of the great memory acts in show business. Oh. I'm sure you'll remember as soon as I mention his name. His name was, uh... <laughs> Ah, wow, this is ridiculous. I was just talking about him this morning. <laughs> well, what's the difference? I know him when I see him, Jose. That's the important thing. Now, I think I'll go put this combination in the safe. <laughs> ah, just in time. Okay, who is it you can't get in without the password? What? This is Mr. Phillips. Open the door this instant, or I'll bounce you out of this hotel on your thick skull. That's the password. <laughs> I wish he hadn't said it so loud. Now everyone in the hotel will know. <laughs> How dare you lock me out of... Oh, you're here too. I might have known. Where there's a nincom, there's always a poop. <laughs> I just brought you the banquet list, the seating list that you wanted uh, for the yes. banquet manager. Yeah, and I'm here for security measures, Mr. Phillips. Uh, by the way, I have the new combination of the safe right here. In a moment, click. All right, Amelia, tell me about the banquet seating details. Yes, sir. Well, you see, there's going to be 70 men, see? So now that's not counting the 11 at the head table. Now, the chairman will be in the center, and there'll be 27 to his left and 32 to the right. But that's unbalanced. Uh, why not 29 to the right and 30 to the left? And why 11 in the middle? See, see there's the guest of honors in the middle, Mr. Phillips. Yes. And there's a 10 vice president, the five to his right, the five to his left. I see. And the reason I'm going to go to the right, 
Um, I mean, 27 to the left. 27 to the left. Kind of post. You should have a nice place. So we've got five more men to the right and to the left. Excellent. <laughs> I see. Well, thank you, Nenis. All right, Mr. Glick. Now the combination. Ah! <laughs> The combination, yes. yes. Uh, the little numbers that open the safe so that I don't have to use a blowtorch. <laughs> yes. Well, Mr. Phillips, the numbers that will open that safe are... 27863522. That's the new combination? No, that's the phone number of the uh, safe company. I'll have to call them to get the combination. <laughs> they were supposed to give it to you. Yes. Well, they did give it to me, Mr. Phillips, but you see, I thought it would be a good idea if I took the combination and put it in a safe place. I see. You wanted to put it in a safe place, so naturally you put it in the safe, right? <laughs> Mr. Glick, I have to give you a lot of credit. You do? Yes. Every time I think you've done the stupidest thing possible, you proceed to top yourself. <laughs> Put it in the safe. Yes, sir. Uh, Mr. Glick, we're just trying to be a good detective, Mr. Phillips. Indeed. Well, Mr. Glick, if you really want to prove what a good detective you are, I know an excellent way you can do it. Uh, how is that, sir? By tracking down your brain. <laughs> right. Yes, sir. I'll get right on that. Right away, Mr. Glick. Uh, now I'll help him. Uh, uh, a good poop always helps his income. <laughs>